Good morning. I'm here. Grandma Lois is here again. Hello. Get your coffee, your tea. Sit down. I already had me some bagel with cream cheese. I like the kind that spreads. So this morning I was thinking about my mother and what a blessing she was to me. And we were like sisters as we got older because she was only 20 years older than me, just like I am my girls, the twins, and only 26 years older than Kim. But I was about 21 years older than the twins. But we do seem more like sisters and we just share a lot of stuff, which is good. But I was thinking about how my mom used to say now, you're the oldest, you're of nine children, I was. So she said, you have to set the example. Well, how do you set an example? I don't know. But I guess I tried to be good and, and help as much as I could mom and dad so that they would be proud of me because on Saturdays, I would clean the house for mom and I just would have it sparkling clean and I would pull the shades down. We had those roll up shades and I would pull them down about halfway because you know what? That camouflages a lot of dirt, a lot of dust, a lot of stuff. So if I didn't get it perfect, I could camouflage it. Now that's a little sneaky, but you know, I like the feeling of, it seemed to me like if I pulled the shades down, it was more intimate. I like the atmosphere better and I still do. I don't like a bright sunshine shining in my eyes to where you can't see anything hardly. But James likes it real bright, so he puts the shades up and I put them down. He puts them up and I put them down. <laughs> Gives us something to do. <laughs> He's working today. And I will tell you, Miss Bella is getting some better, but she's not well. And I don't know if this is her time or not, because the vet said she is 13 years old. I gave her the last dose of her medicine this morning, amoxicillin. She got me pretty bad yesterday with her, but it wasn't too bad, it did bleed. But she don't like taking that medicine, but she's drinking good and she's peeing good. And I think she's eating. I'm not here with her all the time to know for sure if she's eating because I leave the cat food out. But I did buy the kind that is for the urinary tract type food and so that's all she'll be eating from now on so things are going good praise the lord and i found out something different i can hear as good with if i just wear one hearing aid then i do wearing two so i'm just wearing one that's up to me i'm the boss ha 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 clarine shame on you i call myself clarine my name is lois clarine beard rice blair I'm almost like the Queen of England that has, or the King that has a whole bunch of names. I got a whole bunch of names. Anyway, this morning I was thinking about my mom and how I miss her so much sometimes because we talked every day on the phone and visited every day. She only lived just a little ways out the road because she and her second husband, my stepdaddy, bought a house out there. And we would go walking and go shopping and our favorite hobby, mine and mom's, when I was married to number two, is yard sales. And we would travel everywhere hunting bicycles for Floyd to fix. And we just enjoyed that so much. And mom started collecting teddy bears and green glass and baskets. She just bought them all. She had plenty of money. So she'd buy baskets and she bought green glass and she bought teddy bears and so my brother Dennis's wife, mom's house was so cluttered with green glass and teddy bears and baskets that it was overwhelming. So what did Miss Patricia do? She said to my mother sweetly and kindly, she said, you know what? What we could do is kind of neaten up things and we could put some of it in boxes and I'll put them in the attic and if you want to back down, I'll get them for you. Anytime you want them, I'll get them. And mom went along with that because after Patricia got done, mom had room to sit on the couch when she put a lot of teddy bears, a lot of baskets and green glass and oh, the milk glass. 
Mom liked that too. And so Patricia put it around neatly what she had left and it just really looked attractive. That girl has got the touch and she says she can make things pop and she can. She is so good at decorating. So she did that for mom. So all the boxes went in the attic and, and mom could buy more stuff to sit around. So she was a happy woman and we would find bicycles for Floyd and Floyd would fix, he re, I built a two car garage for him so he could work on bicycles out in the garage and still have a place to park the cars. It was a big one and it didn't cost me hardly anything back in that day. I mean, you could get help, you know? And they he built me that garage and it's a two door and um, I mean a big door and you can park two garages and it's got an, a big upstairs. And I was gonna make a, that, a, I was gonna have paintings and have me a gallery that went by the wayside. But the upstairs turned out to be a little one person apartment. So I rented that for a long time and that was a good income. And it had stairs going up and they had a private entrance and I got tired of fooling with it though. You know what happens? You go through phases in life. Things keep changing as I tell you. But the Lord leads, guides, and directs you in your new path a lot of times. And when he closes one door, guess what? He's opening another door. And that really happens. So I'm just having fun being married to James. And these two new kitty cats are such a blessing. And they're good in their little bedroom we gave them. And I got up this morning, let them out. And I had put some food in there for them. And they had ate it up. And so, buddy... Both of them just rushed to the food that I keep out in the kitchen. And there there was, the two little things just gobbling down their dry, and they just eat dry cat food. And that's the easiest, I tell you. And it's healthy for them, they can have it. But I have put Bella and Big Tom here at my house on the kind that helps uh, the UTI and the infection in your urinary tract. That's all they'll be eating from now, including him, because he's not the youngest thing anymore. I think he's about eight years old now. Are y'all relaxing like I am? I'm looking forward to what I'm going to do today. My husband, bless his heart, I love him to pieces. I really do. God gave me a wonderful man, and I appreciate him. He's working today. But these, there is a special cantaloupe that comes on in this area that they raise up in the knobs, up in Floyd Knobs, where we used to live. There's some big farms up there, and they raise these big cantaloupes that are, well, Myers usually gets them in, but they haven't got them in, so I'm going to go to Gordon today and buy him a couple. He likes them for breakfast, lunch, and something. No, <laughs> he just loves them. So I'm going to go get him a couple of cantaloupes. And I went to a place yesterday, they went $5 a piece for the big Floyd Knob cattle, cantaloupe. And I said, no, thank you, because you can get them for about $3 in corn, and I can have a nice drive out in the country, stop by and see the chickens and the turkeys, and see my daughter Kim. She lives out that way. It's about 20 miles. But you know, sometimes I just get out and enjoy the drive. I've been aiming to go by my church, Horner's Chapel, where I went to church when we lived on the farm, and I just haven't made it yet. I don't know. Here, i got to push that up. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe I've been chattering for nine minutes? And time just gets away from you, don't it? And there's not many of you watch it all the way through. So, But if you watch a few minutes, maybe I can help you, pray for you, do something for you, read you a scripture. But you know the Bible says, and I was thinking of this this morning, about raising up a child in the way it should go, and when they're old, they won't depart from it. And it is important, kiddos, to let your children know Jesus when they're little and get acquainted with him when they're young, like five years old. Start reading them Bible stories. You can. I have put Bible stories on YouTube, and you can play that for them. I made a playlist of all the Bible stories I used to tell. Somebody's calling, but I'm not answering. So that takes care of that. I got a spare phone here. It's James's phone. But if 
if they listen to those Bible stories, they'll learn a lot of stuff. And they're on YouTube, and you can just, and it's in a playlist, and you can just play it for them. Or you can get you a Bible story book and read it to them yourself. There is so many wonderful stories in the Bible about Jesus and the disciples and Samson and David and Goliath and all kinds of things that are interesting. So I love you, and I'm going to run the cordon, and, and I feel good. I feel good just to know I've been redeemed makes me feel good. Now, was there something else I was going to tell you all? I can't think of it right now, but if I think of it, I'll tell you later. You know, when you're 90, your mind just goes, well, you know, even my mind always did just, James says to me, he says, you was talking about this three seconds ago, and now you changed the subject, and I've lost you. He can't follow me. But do you know, these kids of mine, the three girls, we talk like that all the time, and we always have. So he's just learning how to do it, and he's doing good. So talk to you later. God bless you, and walk that path where Jesus would be pleased with you. I love you. Bye-bye.